audience Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's take this can and make it into a super cute bunny project. All right, so first thing we do is start with this napkin I got at Joanne Fabrics and we get it down to one ply. Super cute, easy peasy, right? And then we're going to cut it in half so that it fits our can. The can we're using is from, I think it was a big can from Diced Tomatoes or something. And I'm painting it. I'm only doing one coat of chalk paint. I think the color is sheepskin. And I also do the lid to it. Once that's dry, I add some Mod Podge and I do mine in sections. I do a small section and then I add the napkin and then I go around that way. And when I put the napkin on, I set it down and then I kind of pull it a little bit so that it straightens out and then wrap it around. Um, but however you put them on your can is great too. And I do that all the way around. Once I get that all, the napkin all on the can, then I put some more Mod Podge on to seal it. And then I let it dry. And then I go over and I sand both the top and the bottom. Look how pretty. Oh. Next, we're going to use some Waverly Elephant chalk paint. The color is Elephant. Paint it on this cute little bunny I got at Target. Oh, it's adorable. It was in the dollar spot. Um, and so what I'm doing now is putting a little yellow on it. Um, just in little sections, let that dry, and then I'm putting on some regular school glue. You know what, I, my regulars know what I'm doing here. <laughs> we're gonna crackle. All right, so I put the glue on, and now we're going to just paint on the glue. Now, depending on how big you want the cracks, you know, the more glue you put on, the bigger the cracks, but you could practice on a scrap piece of wood just to see, you know, how it goes. You know, practice and see how much glue and how much paint and all of the things. Um, I'm covering the glue before it dries. So this glue is still wet and I'm covering it with some of that same um, chalk paint that I used earlier on the can, which is sheepskin um, and see how it's, it's still wet. And I am going over the edges really lightly just because I like that distressed vibe. Um, so it looks really kind of vintagey. If this isn't your thing, then just paint it completely solid. That would work. And then I apply some heat. And look at the crackles. Oh. Now, once that's fully dry, I actually do the other side. And I'm doing the same song, second verse. But you know what? I can't get enough of watching those crackles. So again, I put the glue on, then the paint on right after, and then we apply. I'm using a heat gun. You could probably use a hair dryer, or you could just let it dry. I'll be honest, though, letting it dry naturally, I don't know that you're going to get the same effect crackle-wise. You're going to get crackles, but not like not like this. Look at how fun. Oh my gosh. And you can start seeing the yellow and the black from underneath. Oh, so cool. Look how pretty that is. I love it. All right. So next you're going to take your bunny and you're going to put some, I'm using Gemtech, but if you can use E6000, use it. I also use some hot glue and we're going to glue it to that lid that we had painted earlier as well. Then I'm putting some hot glue on that and I'm using some Dollar Tree, um, I think it's like moss, it's green moss, I think. And I'm just adhering that all over the top. I trim it with my scissors and then look at, oh my gosh, how cool is this? Do you love it? I love it. Anyways, thanks for watching.